if you think about the network of the future, we need to start about the promise of what we call a personalized network infrastructure for these new different verticals. Talk about connected cars, um, connected health, connected home, smart city, smart grid. All of these different verticals is gonna require very specific characteristics of the network to support them. And in many cases, these characteristics are contradictory. Sometimes you need low latency applications for connected car and for other applications where you have video intensive uh, applications, you need more enhanced broadband. So with this promise of the new network supporting, you're talking about what we call network slice. A network slice, it is what 5G is promising to bring in, is a, a slice across the entire network domain to satisfy these characteristics. Now, a network slice, if you think about it, it starts from the radio frequency. You need a slice in the radio frequency that can be programmable to the radio access network also has to be programmable to the edge network, the transport network has to be programmable, even the core and the delivery content has to be programmable. So if you look at all of these segments to be programmable, that means it's a cloud kind of a deployment. So you think about the slice is taking a cloud inside another cloud, inside another cloud to be able to program the entire network slice chain. That's what I call the network of the future is a cloud of a cloud of a cloud. So today, actually, currently, there is um, the enhanced LTE, although we call it LTE Advanced, or sometimes people call it LTE Pro, is already being deployed. And, and it focuses a lot on, you know, a new cloud RAN or CRAN um, that is also operating in unlicensed, um, uh, we call it LTE Unlicensed. So we are already seeing this current um, uh, evolution happening in the radio access network. Now you need to optimize the radio access network to be able to get the best quality. And also this optimization has to change depending on the location, you know, a lot of other um, uh, frequency uh, interference and collision. Yeah, so there is a lot of work that we are already doing today for optimization. But th think about the network of the future where you're gonna have dual connectivity. You know, your, your device is not just connected to one network, it may be connected to different networks. So the definition of cell disappears. And now, how are you gonna optimize? How are you gonna optimize when you have your call at the same time you have, you know, uh, IoT devices running on the same network? So this kind of optimization brings in a problem that needs to be worked out in a different way. And Viavi is really focused on this new area of, you know, device densifications, how you're gonna optimize the network within that, and RAN optimization in the new cloud definition is gonna become not only an essential part to optimize the customer experience, but it's important actually to define how you're gonna program the network itself. If you look at the promise of the new network, if you want low latency applications, I mean, a car is connecting to another car, you don't want to wait milliseconds for an, an, a decision to be made that can prevent an accident, right? So you're talking about low latency, very, very low latency application. The, the transport network that is supporting that has to change. So today we're already working in what we call the new cross hole. It's not a front hole and back hole, but a cross hole where, you know, you need new definition of programmability of the ethernet and the transport network. We are very involved in these time sensitive optical network, efficiency optical network, uh, um, you know, characterization, uh, understanding how you can um, optimize different solutions using the same infrastructure. So this is already happening. And also there is a huge now um, uh, move towards, you know, uh, moving the intelligence to the edge you know, where traditionally um, you need most of the um, radio head antenna to be just, you know, providing sensor information and then also providing spectrum information, but a lot of the intelligence is moving into the edge. So now edge computing and edge uh, optimization, uh, edge assurance is becoming also a part of that. And Viavi is taking a central stage on how we can optimize that and provide a real visibility into what is impacting this network. At the end of the day, what you really want to get is to get a, a good customer experience. That, that's the whole point. I mean, you promise a new network, but you don't. You also want the, the, the user who are watching video using 4K, you know, TVs or you know, doing virtual reality to have the best experience. And that's that's the whole promise of that. But at the same time, you're also opening new business opportunity for machine to machine and you know, Internet of Things. The question now is how these impact each other. I mean, how when you are moving into an area where there is a lot of IoT, how the signaling doesn't impact your video experience. This is an important piece of what we call the end-to-end. -end. 
because you can't just focus on I'm optimizing my solution for just video. I have to understand the entire impact of the entire ecosystem of 5G. And that's what Viavi really finds itself, you know, differentiating itself from everybody else because we, as we talked about, we already talked about four or different, three different segments of the network, but how do you put them together and how you be able to give uh, what we call a self-optimized network, not just from a radio point of view, but from an entire delivery chain for the network. That's what we call an end-to-end -end sun, and this is what we call is the hallmark of what Viavi is bringing to the market already in the next three years.